so I'm um, just gonna wait a few minutes for some more people to get on I'm two minutes late <laughs> Oops, babe. hi Dana Okay, I have the feeling so um, how are you guys able to see this tutorial did y'all have to go to the event and then you could see it in the event or were you just in our group because I would like for you to just be in the group to be able to find it I'm looking and I can't find it but I think if I go to the event I should be able to but some people are having trouble finding it let me look Um, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to delete this and I'm going to go live again just in the group. So you should be able to find it under fairy tale glitter tumblers on the crafts. I mean, you're already in the group right now, but this is like, mm, I don't know. Or should we just stay here? Cause I will post this on YouTube. I will post this on YouTube. So everyone should be able to come back and find it again. Okay. I think we're going to keep it. We're already here. We're already this far. <laughs> Okay, so, um, okay, thank you, Laura, I saw, thank you. So, this is what we're doing today. It is this piece of art, so you guys can see it, it has this, like, holographic underneath, and then if you come up closer, you can see all the pretty glitter colors. So this is what I will be showing you how to do. So, um, the first thing you want to do with this kind of artwork is you want to set up a prep space, all right? So I'm going to tilt you down in just a second and I'm going to show you how I'm prepping my space. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to take a trash bag. Oh dear, where are the trash bags? Here's one. Okay, um, so I'm just like unwrapping a trash bag, and I'm going to lay it flat on the desk in front of me, and this is so that if any epoxy uh, drips off the sides of the canvas, it won't drip onto your table and ruin your table. Uh, epoxy just peels right off of the plastic. 
so that's why I'm doing that. You can also do paper, but make sure you do enough layers of paper that the epoxy isn't going to seep through because the epoxy will want to seep through. You need to do like a few layers of paper, but um, it's not gonna seep through the plastic, so I'm just doing one trash bag. And now you guys can see this is what I have sitting in front of me. All right, let me try and there we go. I think that's good. Yep, so this is what I have in front of me. Um, and next I have my canvas. All right, so this is a standard 16 by 20 inch canvas. And I'm going to unwrap it real quick. Okay. And here is the canvas. Can you guys see that? Let me see if I can tilt y'all just a little bit further up. There we go. I think that's a little bit better. Like just the sides are barely, barely, barely not in frame, but I think it's good enough. All right, so uh, the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to take some holographic vinyl so right here is the holographic vinyl that I used on this picture. This is the one that I used on this picture. Um, so for this tutorial, I'm thinking I'm going to go with this instead to spice it up. <laughs> so this one, it's a speckle holographic instead of like a linear holographic. So uh, you can use either. I'm just going to go with this one for right now. Um, oh my goodness. And of course it's Cricut vinyl, which has like the hardest packaging to get through. So I'm struggling over here to get into the tube. Oh, I don't know why they do this. Oh, okay. There we go. So this is the holographic vinyl I have. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of lay it out like this. And I'm gonna think, how do I want my lines to go? This is what's gonna go underneath all of the epoxy. And this is how you're gonna see that kind of really pretty holographic effect. So I need to grab a Sharpie real quick, like a marker. And I'm gonna kind of mark how much vinyl I need from the sides of the canvas. So I need about that much vinyl can you guys see that? I just went to the other side of the canvas and I just marked a mark so I know how far I need to cut the vinyl. And now I need a pair of scissors. And I'm going to cut the vinyl. And that way I only have the sheet to work with. I don't have to work with the whole roll. All right, so now I'm gonna think to myself, like how do I want the vinyl, or how do I want the holographic to come across my canvas? I kinda want it to come at like an angle, kinda like this. So I'm gonna go with my Sharpie and I'm gonna map it out. And I can probably use this for like two strips, which is what I did for this one over here. So I'm just gonna come over here and I'm gonna go like this. Just a random kinda curved line. Can you guys see that very well? You can see it very lightly. I just took my Sharpie and I made just a random curved line. And then I'm gonna go and do another one, just like that. And now I know that I wanna cut this strip out and I'm gonna place it here. So I'm gonna bring this down and I know that I probably want another one of those lines. So I'm gonna use the same strip of um, vinyl I have and I'm just making more lines. And I don't want these to be perfectly straight. I want them to be kind of curved and jagged because that's what gives it like makes it look more like a geode. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these out real quick using my scissors. It does not have to be perfect. We're gonna cover up the edges anyways. So I'm just cutting it out very loosely. You are not gonna see the edges of this by the time you're done.
All right, so then I have my first strip, and I'm gonna cut out my second strip. I'm going to put the side pieces by side and now I have these strips of vinyl that I'm going to use. All right, so uh, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel these off and I'm going to stick them on the canvas where I want them. All right, so I'm going to stick on the canvas just like this. So... The canvas is not 100% smooth, so your vinyl is not going to be 100% smooth. And you will see it because it's holographic. But personally, I don't really mind the look of that. If you really, really wanted it, your uh, vinyl to be like 100% smooth, you can apply a coat of epoxy to your canvas first and then stick this on top of it because the, the epoxy is self-leveling. All right, so now you guys can see I have a beautiful strip of holographic and now I'm gonna do the exact same thing with my other piece. I'm just gonna peel it off of the paper and stick it to my, whoops, there we go. And stick it to my uh, thing. Although, do I want it like this or this? Hold on. Just mapping out how I want it. <laughs> no, I think I want it like this. Okay. Okay. So now that I have those two pieces on the canvas, ooh, look how pretty that is. <laughs> wow. Okay. So uh, now that I have those two pieces on the canvas, I'm going to take some masking tape and I'm going to tape off the edges of my canvas. So I'm just going to apply some tape to the edges, nothing crazy. Just. No, it's kind of hard for you guys to see, but I'm literally just taping the edges like this. Nothing crazy. And I'm going to do that on all four sides. All right, so now that all four of my sides are taped, I'm gonna lay it back down on my plastic bag. And now I'm going to get some cups 
I have some empty cups somewhere around here, maybe. Maybe not. Okay, I'm going to be right back because I have to get those uh, little plastic cups. I'll be back in like two seconds. All right, so I have just these like little plastic cups and um, now I'm going to place these underneath my canvas so that my canvas is sitting up from the, uh, the table. I don't want it to be sitting on the table. All right. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take some epoxy. I am using um, Dr. Crafty. You can get it on Amazon for pretty cheap. Um, yeah, and I'm putting on some gloves. And then I'm going to mix a pretty decent amount of epoxy. It's going to come out to almost a full like red solo cup size, however much that is. I'll show you guys in a second. So I already have my two halves portioned out just like this, and I'm going to mix them together. So I always personally, I mix the thicker uh, part into the thinner part. I think it makes it a little bit easier to, to mix. And this mixing process is gonna take a hot second so everyone tell me what you're doing for Christmas this year or whatever holiday you celebrate for just the holidays what are you guys gonna be doing this year we can make some conversation because this is gonna be pretty boring <laughs> just sitting here while I'm mixing the epoxy yeah this is gonna be a second Am I still frozen, Elvia? Hold on, let me look. Uh, where is Cedar City, Laura? I know you guys can't really see me because there's not a lot of space right there, but I'm literally just mixing the epoxy. Oh, Utah. I've never been to Utah. Oh, I need to turn on the volume. You guys can hear all of that. I like the Dr. Crafty because uh, it's pretty easy to mix. It's not too thick and it's not very expensive. You can get it on Amazon for pretty cheap. The only bummer is that it takes quite a while for it to cure. So it's still, it's not going to be like a hundred percent cured for like three days or some, sometimes even longer if you're doing like a very thick if you're using it in like a thick mold. Um, I noticed, I know Heather, I'm sorry. I, I'm literally just mixing the epoxy. Um, if I do it like this, it tires my arms out because I'm holding it like three feet in front of me. So I'm just holding it off camera. I'm just holding it off camera and um, 
stirring the epoxy. I didn't want to stir it before I like turn on the camera because um, just in case it got too hot too fast. Like sometimes it can flash cure, especially if you're mixing a large amount like this at one at one time. So I'm just mixing it together. So what is everyone else doing for Christmas this year? I'm just staying in Killeen. Probably be working. Um, well, I'll take off, like, of course, Christmas. But I'm pretty excited. Usually we have, like, a family dinner and, and open presents with the family, you know. Oh, gosh. When you have this much epoxy, like, it takes a while for it to mix. But I didn't want it to flash here. And usually my brother is live with me. So he can like help with the conversation, but he was off today. All right, Roxy, all I did so far was I took a uh, canvas, a 16 by 20 inch canvas. I put it, um, I put some holographic vinyl on it. I just cut it out with scissors and placed it on the vinyl. And then I taped the edges of the canvas with some masking tape. And I set that on two cups, so it's sitting, it's not sitting on the table, it's sitting above the table. Um, and then I put a trash bag underneath so that the trash bag can catch any drips, if there are any drips. Oh, my arm is getting tired from mixing this epoxy. It looks like it's almost done though. Not too much longer. All right, I believe it's all mixed. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to separate it into three different cups. Actually, I need, I need one more cup, four different cups. I'm just going to separate the epoxy into four different cups. We need one that's going to be clear. And this is specific to this tutorial. You can always change the colors if you want. But personally, I'm going to be sticking to what I did for the, the first, uh, what's it called? The first picture that I showed you guys. I'm just going to be sticking to that. So I need to run to the back real quick and just get one more small cup. And I'm just dividing the epoxy into four cups. Oh, here are the cups. I found them. So I'm just dividing them into four different cups. All right. So one of my cups is going to stay clear Whereas I'm going to have one for, I'll be using 
Sparkle Mica Sparkly Snow White. It's this beautiful white mica that we sell in our store. It's extremely sparkly, very pretty. And I'll be adding a little bit of that. If I could get the jar open, that would be great. happens when my brother, my helper, doesn't come. Mom! I need help opening something. Oh, great. Okay, I need to go get paper towels. I'll be right back. See if this helps. Oh my goodness, I can't get this jar open. <laughs> I'm I thought I felt a bunch for a second. Oh, thank you. Finally got it. Huh, okay, there we go. The jar is open. Woo! All right, now I'm gonna take a little popsicle stick and I'm just going to scoop some into one of my batches of epoxy and mix it up. So I'm just mixing the um, sparkly snow white mica into this epoxy. I think I need a little bit more. And I'm just mixing it up. I'm just mixing it into my epoxy. It looks so pretty. I do think I'm going to add just a little bit more because I want it to be super shiny and reflective. All right, so I think that's good now. And now I'm going to do two glitters. So the first one I have here is Excalibur Ultra Fine. Can you guys see this? It's a really pretty holographic ultra fine silver. I'm going to be adding this. I'm going to sprinkle some into this epoxy and mix it up. And then this is gonna be our silver epoxy. I have to mix it very well. Now I have some silver epoxy. I'm gonna add just a little bit more. I like glitter, what can I say? <laughs> I'm just going to mix that up in the epoxy. All right, and next I am going with Mother of Pearl Ultra Fine. This is a super pretty opal 
ultra fine iridescent glitter that we sell in our store. So I'm going to do the exact same thing I did with silver. And I'm going to pour that into this cup right here and mix that one up. And I'm just mixing that into the epoxy. And now we have this extremely pretty opal glitter. I don't even think you guys can see it that well on camera, but it looks really, really pretty to me. Like, can you guys see that? How shiny it is. Oh, it's so pretty. And that is the Mother of Pearl. So now that I have four different... I have the four different epoxies in front of me. We are going to start pouring them onto the canvas. So I'm putting them by side real quick. Closing this back up. And moving my canvas just a little bit closer. It's a little bit too far away. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my clear epoxy and I'm going to pour it directly over my lines. Then I'm gonna take a popsicle stick and I just want to spread it out a little bit So it's not, so it's like spread out over the holographic. And I'm going to do that to both of my parts. All right. So next I'm just going to start taking my colors and I'm going to just pour them across my canvas where I think I'm going to like them. So I'm going to go and just pour it directly next to my holographic uh, vinyl. Just like that. Then I'm going to take the sparkly snow white and I'm going to do the same thing. And I'm basically just going to keep doing this across the canvas. And I'm just going in these kind of sideways. And I don't want it to be completely straight. I want these lines to be curved and jagged and, but kind of following the same kind of lines. I want them to keep going like this, you know what I mean? So I'm just gonna go and keep adding these lines.
we go. I'm just going to keep adding these lines across my canvas. And I'm just adding all of my colors. All right, so now I'm just gonna take my finger and I'm just gonna kind of spread out the colors a little bit. I'm just spreading out the colors with my finger. All right. Looks like I might need a little bit more here. So I'm gonna try and add just a little bit more with whatever I have left over. I don't have very much left over. Just applying it with my hands real quick. All right. And now the whole canvas is covered with epoxy. That's what we want. The whole thing is covered. All right, so now I'm gonna take off my gloves and we are going to begin at laying the stones. So, Taking off my gloves. All right, so these are the two stones that I have, or the two kinds. Both of them I got from Hobby Lobby. This is the glass deco stone. You can get it in like the vase filler section. And this is just like crystals, or uh, crushed glass, I mean. It's just crushed, crushed glass. And this is what's gonna kind of give it that like geode effect. So all I'm gonna do 
is I'm going to start placing the crystals kind of in lines where I want them. And I want them to go along with the lines that I have already. So I'm just gonna try and lay them down, like very carefully place them, following these lines every once in a while. I don't want too many stones. So I'm just placing them, following the lines. And I'm just gonna go and add them every once in a while, not too many. And I'm just kind of tossing it out of my bag. All right. So I think that's good for these crystals. The next crystals I'm going to go with are these crystals. These ones are called Crystal Dazzlers. And uh, if you guys are tumbler makers, then you would know some people use these for fake ice. They kind of look like ice, but they're much larger than the other ones. And these ones are made of plastic. They're not made of glass. And for these ones, I'm going to kind of like strategically place them. And I'm just going to put them along in like little lines. So here I want a line. Whoops. And I'm just kind of placing them along this line. Okay, now I'm available. Oh, well, it's too late now. I could not get a jar of sparkly mica to open to save my life. And I was like struggling during the live. Well, I'm still alive, by the way. <laughs> but I could not get it to, Hi. to open. But uh, I got it eventually after like 10 minutes. <laughs> All right, so that's the first line. I'm also gonna put them in this corner I like it when they're just kind of in the corner. And I'm just laying it directly into the epoxy. The epoxy is like glue, it's gonna kind of hold it together. Then I'm gonna go along these stones and put a line along these stones, kind of making a little wall. I do want to say is you don't want to judge it quite yet because during tomorrow's tutorial we're going to come and we're going to add all the details and that's when it's really going to come together so I'm just adding these like little crystals I'm going to add just a few more up here up here in this little region All right, there we go. And I think that's all I'm gonna do for these stones. All right, so the only thing that's left to do is we wanna let this cure. So I'm just gonna leave this sitting overnight. And by the time I come back tomorrow, uh, this epoxy takes a little bit longer to cure. Let me put, put you guys up so you can see me. Mommy, I sit. Oh yeah. Um, so I'm just gonna let this sit and cure overnight oh my gosh look at how exposed i am <laughs> i'm just gonna let this sit and cure overnight and then tomorrow i will do this part two to this tutorial and it's our lines it's uh 
Top yes. coating. Yeah, we're gonna add uh, the lines with our pens. And top coat it. And then the top coat. That, and then this thing will be finished. So yeah, this first step, it didn't take too long. Um, the, the longest part, honestly, was just mixing the epoxy. Um, and if you had mixed maybe like smaller batches, it probably wouldn't have even taken that long. I just mixed like a giant batch because I was lazy. <laughs> so um, yeah, so this is it so far right here. Don't judge it too hard because it's gonna look way different tomorrow after we add all the other, the details, the finishing details. All right, so do we have any questions before we end this and then come back tomorrow? I'm not really seeing. Yes, Roxy, we will put another layer over all of this to seal the, we're going to put like uh, the lines, like the geode lines, we want to seal those and we want to seal all the stones to make sure that they stay in place. And that it's a uh, glass coating. Yeah, and that, that it's, it's like a very smooth glass that coating. That it looks like glass. Yes. So are so there any other questions? Pieces require quite a bit of epoxy. Yes, they do. They require uh, quite a bit of epoxy, yes. All right, um, I'm not seeing any more questions. So I am gonna let you guys go and we will come back tomorrow so we can go and finish this. So I will do, <laughs> Roxy says that she loves you. I so... love you, Roxy. Sorry, um, my hair is messed up. My fingers, guess I was crafting. <laughs> yeah. Eyes of Isis pens have set design on, so it's not me. <laughs> that was really oh, they're important. like, so yeah, they're like the looks splatter like pens. splatter pens. All right, so we will come back tomorrow and we will finish this at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, so same time as today. And um, I will also make this available so you guys can come back and always look at it in the group. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. And that's just one gear technique. That yes, is... there are many others. This is just this one specifically for the, the picture that I showed you guys. All right, so I'll see you guys later. Bye.